guys, welcome back to the Adventures in Collecting YouTube channel where we unbox the toys that we talk about on the show. Um, welcome back to another episode and uh, today we have a special figure, um, really cool, uh, Diamond Collectibles was very kind to send us out some sample products and today is another one of those sample products um, designed uh, by Eamon O'Donoghue and sculpted by Gene St. Jean. We have Marvel's Sandman, and I am super excited about this this figure. Um, it is an awesome version of the Sandman, who is actually my favorite member of the, the Sinister Six, so um, I'm really happy to have him. Uh, let's go over some of the packaging here. So, of course, like the other uh, figures in the Marvel Select line, we have the huge, nice, big window here where we can see all the accessories along with the, uh, the name of the figure, of course, and some fantastic uh, Sandman art on the, the, the side panel here. On the back, we get a nice lengthy description of the Sandman's origin, um, which is really cool because a lot of people, I'm sure, know him as Flint Marco, but that is actually not his real name. That is an alias that he takes up. Um, when we take uh, pictures of these in the, this in the light box, you'll get a chance to read um, his, his full description there, but then of course you see the figure in his various forms along with some other Marvel Select figures that fall in line with this one. Credit again to the, the, uh, both the designer and the sculptor there that we mentioned. Um, this figure does come jammed packed with accessories. Just looking at it here before we get it out of the box, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight accessories, nine accessories, including the base. So, uh, without further ado, let me shut up for a moment, and I will be back once we get him out of the box. All right, and just like that, I'm back. We have him out of the package along with his accessories, and I must say that this figure is outstanding. Um, let's get a little bit into the, the paint and detail here. Of course, he has the typical lines on the head, uh, Marvel comic art hair, most typically uh, associated with, with Norman Osborn, but um, Flint also has that hair. Um, he does have, of course, you know, the, the ball jointed shoulders with the bicep swivel, a, a single jointed elbow. Um, as you can see, he does come off at the forearm and you'll see why in a moment, um, but that single jointed elbow is there as well as at the wrist. Um, he does come apart at the waist. Again, we'll get into that in a moment. Um, the legs, he has ball joints at the, uh, they're the typical like T joint or Y joint at the, uh, at the hip, uh, leg. He does have a thigh swivel, um, as well as a double jointed knee and motion there at the, uh, at the ankle. Um, the paint and detail is fantastic. You can see down to the wrinkles in his shirt. Um, again, I mentioned the detail in his hair, the wrinkles and pockets and things on his jeans and his work boots, they all look fantastic. But the thing that makes this figure more unique than anything else, of course, is the fact that he showcases his sand powers. So along with a series of regular interchangeable hands that, um, which they give you four of, are just a, a variation of, you know, open, open handedness. Um, you get a series of sand effects. So you get a sand base uh, to replace his legs, as well as sand weapons for hands, including fists, maces, hammers, and um, a sweet looking claw. So the, the biggest one, of course, is the one that swaps out at the waist. So we'll unplug his legs here and we will plug him into his sand base, which is actually how I intend on displaying him. And I'll just show you real quick how that works. Plugs in super nice and you get this nice sandstorm effect. Now, what's really interesting about this figure is that he comes apart at both the forearm and the wrist. So you can swap out the fists for, um, for other uh, openness of hands, but you can swap him out at the forearm. So you can see, you could swap about for the actual sand effects. Um, I'm really excited for the giant fist, so I'm gonna put that one on as well. Yeah, there you go. So you can have him kind of in any sort of variation of sandedness um, as he as he attacks uh, Spider-Man. Now, um, again, this figure compared to you know some Marvel Legends, 
the Marvel Selects are going to be big. He's going to scale big. But the fact that he has the ability to um, kind of swap in these sand effects really helps how he's going to scale with your Marvel Legends. Um, Sandman is one of those um, kind of uh, appearance-altering figures. So he can be as large or as small as, you know, a human or a monster. So the fact that he he has these abilities and he has these these wonderful sand effects with him um, really helps his his posability and helps uh, his scalability. So while Marvel Select and Diamond Select figures tend to be a little bit larger than, than Marvel Legends, which we've gone into in the past, um, that kind of works with figures like this, uh, similarly to some of the, the, the symbiote figures. Um, let me grab somebody for scale here. Uh, let's see. Let's grab Cap. So I have Captain America back here. We'll just pop him out real quick. You can see that once you have him next to Sandman with his sand effect, the fact that he is a little bit bigger, um, it works. It really isn't that bad. Back to back with the sand effect, you know, he is a little bit taller. Um, he is a little bit bigger, but that totally works um, because he is a, a larger than life figure. Now I do have the PS4 Spider-Man um, from from uh, Marvel Select, which I'll make sure that we, we photograph him in the box with him, um, which I'm sure he's going to look fantastic with. Same with uh, the, the, the Monster Venom from the Marvel Legends wave, another great figure that will scale well with him um, if scale is something that you're concerned about. If not, I, I mean... If you're just looking for kind of a dynamic Sandman figure that that works with all of your figures, regardless of scale, this is I think this is definitely where it's at. the 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 Marvel Legends Sandman figure, um, he, he's he's not as dynamic as this, and the fact that this has the swap out base where you can really kind of accentuate his his ability to morph into sand, I think, is a really great touch. Um, makes it super easy to display with the wide base and the center of gravity. You know, you're not going to have any problem balancing that on anything. Um, it's it's a great figure. Uh, so thank you again to Diamond Select for uh, for graciously sending this out to us to review. It's a fantastic figure. We really hope that a lot of people, a lot of you, add this to your collection, whether it's a Marvel Legends or um, you know a, a Marvel Select uh, display. Um, that being said. Uh, make sure that you subscribe uh, here on, on YouTube so that way you don't miss videos like this and us going through some of the toys that we love. Um, and speaking of toys, we're always posting new things here at AIC underscore podcast on Instagram and Twitter. Um, that's where the news happens. So when we find something that we think is interesting or something that we think that you would want to hear about, we post it. Um, and of course, where it all started is, is here. Uh, the podcast, Adventures in Collecting. We're live every other Monday, wherever you find podcasts. And when you find us and you listen and you think you want to be part of the show, make sure you leave us a comment uh, wherever you listen, whether it's on Spotify or, or Apple Podcasts, and tell us what you think and tell us about your favorite toy or a fun toy story that you have so that way we could talk about it on the show. Um, we really hope that you enjoy the content that we put out, but our content is nothing without your input. So we want to hear back from you. Um, and that's the easiest way to do it. So leave either a comment down here and let us know what you think about the, uh, the Diamond Select Sandman, uh, or anything toy related. And, uh, make sure you hit us up in the, the comments on our, um, on our social media posts and on the reviews in the podcast. So, uh, like always, I mean, this is going to be a thumbs up. This figure is fantastic. Um, they really nailed the Flint Marco, uh, the likeness, the, 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 the scalability. Um, this is a very, very good figure. Gene absolutely crushed it on the sculpting here, um, and uh, we, we can't see wait to see what they do next and uh, what's what's coming down the the, the pipeline in the the Marvel Select line. Um, with that, until next time. <laughs>